Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Welcome, everybody. Please share and invite people for tonight's session. Um, yeah, please invite people. Invite people, share, 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 share your link. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today for a night of praise and worship. Of all the things God has done, you're one of those that have showed up to praise and worship the living God. Amen. I wanted to read for us Joel chapter 2, verse 25 to 27. I, it is an anchor scripture. I love this scripture. Amen. The, and I'm going to read from the message, message version. It says, I will make up for the years of the locust, the great locust devastation, mm -hmm. locust savage, locust deadly, lock, fierce locusts, locusts of doom, the great locust invasion I sent your way. You eat your fill of good food. You'll be full of praises to your God, the God who has set you back on your heels in, order, in wonder. Never again will my people be despised. You will know without question that I'm in the thick of life with Israel, that I am your God. Yes, your God, the one, the only real God. Never again will my people be despised. So chapter 2, verse 25 to 27. So I thought I would share that. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Over to you, Minister Umi. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, um, Sister Immaculate. I welcome you all, everyone, to our night of praise and worship. Indeed, our God is a God of restoration. Amen. Our God is a God of restoration. He has done it before and he will do it again. He would do it again. Hallelujah. I just want us to just quickly sing this song. Uh, it's a song that um, I've been um, kind of like a singing. And so I just want us to sing it. I said, um, it's the chorus. Um, to worship you highly. Uh, Minister IJ, if you can just join me in singing it, uh, you know. To worship you highly. I live to worship you. Can we just sing that song? That to worship you, I live. You know, all we live for is to worship God, is to serve God. And so uh, if you can just help me to, you know, sing that song and let's just sing that song. Wherever you are, wherever you're joining from, let's just welcome the Holy Spirit into our midst. That Father, to worship you. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. Yes, Lord. Father, to worship you, we live. And so that's why we thank you for the breath of life. We bless you this hour. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 126, verse 1, he said, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the hidden, the Lord has done great things for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Meaning, he said, when the Lord turned again, that means he has done it before, is able to do it again. Hallelujah. When the Lord, I've read this passage, you know, several times. And when I was reading it yesterday, it said, when the Lord turned again, that means he has done it before. He's able to do it again. He's able to do it over and over and over again. And so tonight, he's able to restore us. He's able to do it. He has done it already. And that's why the theme said, I am restored because he has done it. Over 2,000 years ago, he has done it. The blood of Jesus already, he has redeemed us. He has restored us. He has purchased us, restored us. Everything has been given to us. And so, Father, we thank you this hour. We bless your holy name. We give you praise. 
for everything that you have given unto us. And as he said, we should ask until our joy is full. And so, Lord, we come this hour. We bless you. We give you praise. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for this month of Pentecost. Thank you, oh God, Father, because you are overturning and overturning for us. Thank you, oh God, Father, because you are filling our mouth with laughter. Thank you, oh God, because as many that will be hearing, oh God, of our testimony, they will rejoice with us. Thank you, oh God, Father, Lord, because it shall turn to us for us, oh God, for, for us as a testimony. Thank you, oh God, for what you are set to do tonight. Thank you for what you have done already. Thank you, oh God, for establishing us. Thank you, oh God, for filling our mouth with laughter. Father, we bless you. We give you glory. Holy Spirit, we welcome you this hour. We ask, oh God, that you take your place. Have your way, oh God. Let the heavens be open unto us. We invite your presence, Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth. We ask, oh God, that you empower each and every one of us. Father, Lord, we set aside and we ask, oh God, that you, oh God, take your place. Take the stage, oh God, tonight. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Release your blessing, oh, that you will come down. Down. You will rain the heavens and come down. That the mountains will melt at your presence. Let every situation, every hindrance and barrier challenges. Father, let it melt at your presence, oh God, this hour. And let the blessings, oh God, be released unto us. Father, we thank you. We bring ourselves under the covering of the blood of Jesus Christ. We cover every part participants, uh, their homes, uh, every prayer, every request, uh, every thanksgiving, Lord, we bring it under the covering of the blood of Jesus. Uh, Father, thank you because um, you are able to do it. You have turned it again uh, and you are turning it over and over again because it is our turn. Uh, it is our turn, Father, Lord, to be given unto us. Uh, you are overturning and overturning and overturning. Uh, Father, mm. because it is our turn uh, to receive those blessings. Thank you for rest restoration. Thank you for the years that the locusts, the canker worms, the caterpillar, and the palmer worms are eating. The Lord, and you are restoring abundance, fruitfulness unto us today. Father, we give you praise. We exalt you, O God. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and given thanks. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, Sister IJ, good to see you. I can't hear you though. I think. Oh you're yes, hearing. good to see you too. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, yes you're on. You. You're on. Okay. Cool. So, okay. Um, it's good to be in the presence of the Lord tonight again. I, I mean, I don't know how your week has been. I don't know how your day, even today, has been. But one thing I know is that I am restored. So whatever happened during the week or today or even last month, I am restored. So Amen. I want to speak it to yourself and say, I am, I am restored. restored. Amen. I am restored. I don't care yes. what the circumstance says. I am yes, restored. I am restored. Yes, Lord. Tonight, I have my brother here, David. He's going Thank to be you. singing with us and playing for us as well. So tonight... I just pray that our songs, our worship will bless you tonight. And I pray that you open up your heart, open up your mind, so that the Lord will overwhelm you. We're going to start singing. Take all the praise, our God. Hallelujah. Take all the praise. Yeah. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes. The Lord will take all our praise tonight. If you believe it, shout a big hallelujah. Hey. I have come to give back to you. I have come to say thank you, Lord. Hey, oh, I have come to give back to you. Oh, yes, I have come to say thank you, Lord. I want us to do it again. Hallelujah. I have come. I have come to give 
You still have a few minutes.
Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Wow. I me, I can worship forever. <laughs> I can worship forever. God has been good. God has been good. God has been good to me. Oh. Um, right now, I'm gonna invite Minister Minister Okwakin Salami, woman of God, Bishop. Hey. Bishop S, Prophet S, whatever it is, we welcome you. <laughs> we welcome yeah. you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you so much, Sister Immaculate. You are so, so sweet. God bless you, man. And I want to appreciate you, man. I don't take it for granted. It's not that I say it's only on the platform. She knows I even send message to her every time she asks me to do prayer. So it's not just... Uh, I service thing. I appreciate you that you are giving me this platform to lead us in prayer. And we all of us knows how to pray. It's the spirit of God that is teaching you, teaching me, that is giving us the hot talents, that is giving us the right word to pray. And today, the Lord is here. Hallelujah! And he's here to do one thing, just one to restore us. And that's why we are going to confess, even in advance, because the things that we are yet to see is one thing that we should call them forth. And we are going to call them forth and it's going to restore you. It's going to restore me to the original pattern that and the Lord yeah. has created us for. Amen. And we are going to pray and please and please and please. Amen. We are going to be specific tonight by the grace of God. And if you don't have a list yet, can you quickly take a page for your pen and, and your paper can. and be specific? <laughs> because you have to have something to measure with when you are restored. Yes. This is not a general prayer. It's not too late for you to take your sheet, your, your paper, your data, and your pen and start listing. Begin to list the thing that you want the Lord to restore. The Holy Spirit will invite you. Then you teach us how to pray. None of us knows how to pray. That Lord, we will not pray, I mean, tonight. Amen. But we shall pray and right. As you restore us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I would like us to take a deep breath. The word of the Lord in Psalm 46, verse 10 says, Be still, I know that I'm God. 
Mm. I want you to know that God is here. You are not here to meet man. God is here. He's even waiting to meet us. That's the word I hear. To restore unto us. From Samuel chapter 30. That's the passage that the Lord has sent to us from verse 1 to 20. And if you are not that familiar with it, I will encourage you. Is indeed the definition of restoration. If you want to define restoration, then open your Bible to 1 Samuel 30. Verse 1 to 20. Ziklag was, was invaded by the enemy. And everything that they had was taken from him. I don't know what you have lost today. <laughs> I know you are specific. You have specific. This is not a general prayer. Mm. You have to know what you want to gain back. You want what you want to do not to restore you from. And then we go back to Zikla. He went for a while, but he was sent back home, chapter 29. He got home and everything, everything. All their wives and their children have been taken captive. I don't know that thing that the enemy has snatched away from you. I don't know that the, what the enemy has smashed from your hand. I don't know that thing the enemy has crushed in your life. Is it my terror and that Zima is it your joy? Is it your peace? Your husband, your home, your children, or is it your heart? And the most important thing is it your salvation. But today, the God of restoration, he shall restore you and he shall restore me in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pursue, we are going to overtake, and we are going to recover home. We are not going to recover some. In the mighty name of Jesus, they begin to recover all, and we are here to recover all. We are going to come back to 1 Samuel 30. But I quickly want to define what is restoration. We are here to be restored. I am restored. Can you confess that? I am restored. Can you open your mouth? Tonight is the night of open mouth. You will him as the book of Ezekiel, I believe 27. The Lord told Ezekiel. He said, prophesy to the birds. What version says, speak to the wind. So today, don't close your mouth. Don't do quiet prayer. Open it wide. Speak to the wind. So that the wind will carry your message unto the Lord. So what is restoration? My best definition of restoration is Ezekiel, the book of Ezekiel. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 27, chapter 20, verse 27. And the Lord says, I will, I will overturn and overturn and overturn. 21, verse 27. That is restoration. The Lord is yet to overturn, overturn, and overturn it. He's not going to overturn it once, he's going to overturn it twice. And it shall be no more until he comes whose right it is. And I will give it him. That is restoration. Can we quickly begin to appreciate God? Say, Father, thank you because I am here. And I know you will overturn and overturn and overturn for me. I want you to turn that Ezekiel chapter 21 to 27. I begin to say, Father. Overturn and overturn and overturn KJV version. And it shall be no more. I don't know that thing. You don't want it to be no more. The Lord is here to overturn it and give it to you. Say, and, he, and until he comes, who's right it is? And I will give it in. And Zimata, what is that to be specific? That's what I said we should have a list. What I don't see that you don't want it to be no more. In Zikata. The Lord is yet to overthrow. Be specific, be mentioning. Don't pray general prayer. Is it your marriage that the enemy has taken from you? Your husband, your joy, your peace. It was a precious relationship. Is it your child or your children that the enemy has snatched away from you? Begin to be specific. I want you to be specific and say, Father, overturn and overturn and overturn. When the Lord overturn, there will be restoration. Until whose right it is, it is your right. Begin to take your right. 
Azima tuara ba 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 ba. That thing that you don't want it to be no more. Begin to say, Father, tonight, overturn for me. In the mighty name of Jesus, is it that way? What child say overturn? Hey, is it your marriage? Is it my zikata overturn? Is it your heart? Then is it my zikata overturn? Oh, is it your peace? Is it my child again receive it back? Azima tuara ba ba ba. Azima katara ba ba shima ta. And so shall it be. The Lord is overturning for us tonight. And when you overturn, there will be restoration. And I want us to pray for First Peter chapter five verse ten. That is another definition of restoration. What is restoration? Restoration is First Peter chapter five verse ten, and says that but may the God of all grace, who called you, who called us, you and I, to His eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After you have suffered the why, <laughs> it is not for heaven. It is not for ten years. It is to suffer the why in the mazika tarabo gosi marabo boshima. The God of restoration, God of all grace, promise us all four things. He said, one, I will pass it all that concerns you. Number two, I will establish you. Number three, I will strengthen you. <laughs> and number four, I will say to you, <laughs> I don't know what you need out of this four. <laughs> is it all the four that you need from the Lord tonight? Or you need some of the four actually need the four. Begin to have the God of all grace, the God of restoration, <laughs> that Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. You have promised me that this suffering will not be for, 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 for forever. You promised that when I have suffered, hey, why? <laughs> that you will perfect all that concerns me. You will establish me. You will stabilize me. You will strengthen me. <laughs> and eventually you will settle me. I want you to present that case first and say, Father, perfect me, strengthen me, and establish me, and settle me. And I pray. That the Lord will settle us. When the Lord settle us, when the Lord strengthen us, when the Lord perfect all that concerns us, when the Lord establish us, that is restoration. And what is restoration? The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 25. He said that I don't want to read all. I will restore to you the yes. Hey, when the Lord restore the yes. The God that we serve is the God that can redeem our time. Is it time that you have lost? And you can even bring the future to now. Begin to ask the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord Almighty, in the name of Zimara, restore to me all the years in my time of Is there any of your children? Holy man, in the man that has lost time today. Yeah, I hear it. The Holy Spirit told me stop there because I will redeem. How we restore years, yes, even time. I'm the God that can restore time. That tonight I'm going to restore time. In the mighty, you think you have lost time? You enjoy that somebody here. You think you are wasting away? The Lord said tonight because you are here. You are not wasting away because I will redeem your time. You will look back and everything will begin. In the mighty, to work fast for you. That we give you the mighty at the energy I gave unto earlier. In first Samuel chapter eight, the first king chapter eighteen, that he got to the gate even before King Ahab. And Zima Tara was Zima Koto began to receive speed. I said, Father, I received the energy to redeem to, 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 to and to get my time back. And what is restoration? Restoration, which I love so much, is Psalm forty. Any man Zika Tara was Zima Tara. Psalm forty, verse one to three, and I quickly read the TPT. He said, I waited and waited and waited patiently, knowing God will come through for me. Then at last, he bent down and listened to my cry. He stood down to lift me out of danger from the desolate pit. I don't know the desolate pit you are. Restoration is when the Lord bent down. To lift you and I out of the pit, out of the muddy mess I have fallen into. Now he's lifted me up into a fast, secure place and steady me while I walk. Tonight, the Lord is lifting us out of those desperate pits, out of the muddy mess, 
out of every evil situation and is taking off to that firm, secure place. We are going to begin to say, Father, tonight take me to that firm, secure place in the mighty name of Jesus. And he promised, and I will give you a new song for a new day. A new song. There shall be a new song. A new song. I don't know the song that you are singing. You know, and I was praying concerning this. And yet in my spirit, that someone will sing this song in Yoruba. Okay, I wrote it down. The Lord said I should tell someone, one day you will sing that song. Yes, some of us may be passing through depression. 
And I want you to begin to pray. I mean, if you are past, not passing, can you begin to pray and cause the spirit of depression? Then this generation, how you must see my men on this platform, we speak again the spirit of depression in the mighty name of Jesus. And then my go see Marabanga. And another thing that happened there is that there is strength in serve in the Lord. Hey, it takes strength to pursue, to overtake, and to recover how. I remember some years back, haha, my Ziglad was invaded. Yes, my Ziglad was invaded. And I can tell you, I went down to depression. I didn't even have energy to pray. It takes energy to arise and to pray. But suddenly, the Lord gave me back energy. You know, for a long time, I was just on one spot. And that is depression. I couldn't even fight for myself. Until the Lord gave me back today, I've taken over the Lord has restored my Ziglar to me. I want you to pray and say, Lord, strengthen me now. Because it's more promised that if the world has strengthened our finger <laughs> to battle, the purpose in my turn and against the matter is for us to use those fingers, to use our hand to receive victory. The Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, strengthen me as I take over and take victory in this battle. I want us to pray that Lord, how we pursue in the name of Jesus, with your strength, I will pursue. And we should not forget that David prayed. You are here to, do, to pray. I thank God for that. And David arose at another point. You cannot be on one spot. As you pray, there are some instruction. Listen to instruction. And you need to take those instructions. And David arose. You, and you will arise and you will do what we did needful in the mighty name of Jesus. And very, very important. And David to receive help. David found help. David needed help, and what help that he needed? He needed direction. As he was going in the bush, you know, yes, he met an Egyptian, and that was the secret of his restoration. There's always a secret to your rest restoration. I want you to ask the Lord, write it down, that the secret of my restoration, all of you will reveal to me today in the mighty name of Jesus. And the secret of David's restoration was that Egyptian. And that's why I want to encourage us. Stop organizing pretty party. <laughs> Stop behaving as if the old white body is on your head. You, and you need to, fail, to focus not on your problem and pay attention to someone else's situation. By the grace of God, there was one day that the woman of God Mr. you know, she was so strong. <laughs> and I was, you know, I was praying. I said, God, give her the strength to take this meeting today. And when she was ministering for a long time, I put my hand because <laughs> it could only be God. And I said, this woman, she decided to push aside the situation around her. And she a fire in that day. Nobody knew. You know, and she was sending message to me two hours to the meeting. Do not give her strength. And that's why you and I, we need that to receive our restoration. You need to push aside that problem and help someone. They need to push aside the problem and he helped the Egyptian. And the Egyptian told them where they have taken everything. You need direction for restoration. You need helpers for restoration. Egyptian, the Egyptian became the helper. The Egyptian gave them the direction. I want you to look into a person, Father, I receive my direction to my restoration today. I receive my helpers to my restoration today. In the mighty name of Jesus. And finally, David to recover her. Can you begin to say, Father, I recover her. I will pursue, I will overtake, and I will recover her. I want you to say that with those three words. I will pursue, I receive strength, I receive direction, I receive efforts to pursue, to overtake, to recover her. In the mighty name of Jesus. And verse 20, the last verse. And there's something there. And say that this is David's spoil. Not only did David recover all he lost, he even got extra. Spoil and like extra. He brought back what the enemy, enemy even won. He didn't even come back and tell them. He didn't come back with what he lost. He even came back with what belongs to the Amaka. The Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive my they say, David's boy. Can you put your name and say, Oh, my spoil? I receive my spoil in the mighty name of Jesus. And then we at the very last prayer, the book of Job, chapter 42, verse 10. Very important. Job 42. Verse 10. He says that after Job had prayed for his friend, the Lord restored his prosperity. 
and doubled his possession. Can you now shift your face and your heart from your own problem? This person could take a friend, just one friend. Don't pray for yourself. This is an instruction I hear from the Lord. We have been so selfish. Can you close your heart? The way you have been praying for yourself since we started, can you pray for a friend that you know needs restoration in one area? And Job pray for his friend. And everything he lost, we all know what Job lost. Hey, was restored. And his prosperity. And everything was double. Double, everything double his former possession. Take a friend now, as I take a friend in my Zimu too. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy to our life that we shall pursue, we shall overtake, and we shall recover. You will not recover so. You will recover all in the name of Jesus. The Lord will redeem your time. The Lord will redeem your energy. That relationship that you have lost, that you need, the Lord will redeem it. Your peace is back. Your joy is back. You will sing a new song. You will sing a better song. No more tears. No more weeping. In the mighty name of Jesus, that child is restored. I say it again. That child is restored. I say it again. That child is restored. In the mighty name of Jesus, your home is restored. Take back to your home. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you and we give you glory. We magnify you for you, our God. Can we begin to appreciate God and say that I am restored? We magnify you and we say thank you, Jesus. For we are restored. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. We are restored. Amen. Thank you so much, Apostle. We are restored. Greater grace, strength, and anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you, increase you. The Lord anoints you, every area of your life, whatever, that you also are trusting God for. You are restored in Jesus' name. You are restored physically, spiritually, materially, financially, ministerially, in every aspect of your life. You are restored in the name of Jesus. The Lord enlarge your feet under you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord make you fruitful in every areas of your life. The Amen. Lord recover all for you too in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to just keep praying. We are restored. In the name of Jesus, I am restored. Father, we are restored. Brethren, restoration can only come through the spirit of God. We have no strength of our own. He said it's not by power or by might, but by the spirit of the Lord. Lord. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 4, it said, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father. We said, ye have heard of, says he, ye have heard of me. In the name of Jesus, verse 5 says, for John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days tense. Hallelujah. We are going to be deliberate about this. We are going to ask for the ask for the power from on high. The, ask for the promise of the Father, because restoration comes only through the help of the Holy Spirit. Like she said, she had no power she, when she was going when a Ziglag was attacked. Each one of us can identify that one way or the other when we have been challenged. And so first, we are going to ask uh, for the promise of the Father. The Father, the Bible says in Isaiah 32, verse 15, uh, he says, until the Spirit is being poured from on high, that our wilderness will become a fruitful field, uh, and our fruitful field will become a forest. Uh, before that forest, before that restoration comes, uh, the Spirit of God must be poured upon us. Uh, and so we are going to ask the Lord, uh, Father, 
I receive that garment of fire this hour in the name of Jesus. Son. Ask the Lord, Father, clothe me with your garment of fire. Anoint me afresh. I receive grace. I receive fire on my prayer altar. I receive, oh God, the grace not to quit. In the name of Jesus, son. I receive grace this hour. I receive fire. I receive the garment, a new garment, oh God. I receive the power from on high. I receive, Lord, clothe me, oh God, with the garment of fire. The Bible says in Acts, Acts 2, 17, he said, and it shall come to pass in the last day, says God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, not one, upon all. He says, your sons and your daughters will prophesy. He said, the old men will dream dreams. They will see visions in the name of Jesus. Ah, you're going to ask the Lord, Father, pour your spirit upon my daughter, upon my sons. Oh, pour your spirit upon me in the name of Jesus. Clothe me with your garment, with the garment of fire. Empower me this hour, this hour in the name of Jesus so I can recover all. Strengthen me in the name of Jesus. When David Ziegler was attacked, when David was pursuing, you could see that he met somebody on the way in the name of Jesus that gave him instruction. It takes God to give us instruction, the help of the Holy Spirit in order to recover all. We need the help of the Holy Spirit. We need the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We need the instruction of the Holy Spirit. The Father Lord baptized me. We cannot recover anything without his help. We will just, we will just be fighting endlessly in the name of Jesus. But this year we will not fight endlessly. We will eat the target. Holy Spirit come upon me afresh. Holy Spirit come upon me. Lord baptize me afresh. In this season Lord I receive the garment of fire. I receive the help of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus I receive your guidance. Father we thank you. Lord we bless you. In Jesus name we pray. Like she told you about restoration. We are going to pray. What is restoration? Restoration is to repair. To repair. To be ready to repair damage. When God repair the damage and broken areas of our life, we are restored. The dreams that have been broken, the visions that have been broken, Isaiah 58, Isaiah 58, we are going to quickly read, I will, we are going to read, what are those visions that have been destroyed, is to repair, we are going to ask the Lord to repair, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says in Isaiah 58, 11 to 14, it says, and the Lord shall guide you continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a water garden, and like a spring of water, whose water faileth not, and they shall be, and thou shalt, and thou shalt be, and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundation of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the bridge, the restorer of paths to dwell in. Hallelujah. If you look at verse 14, I skip 13. They, then shall thou delight themselves in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. That is restoration. The Lord repairs. He repairs the damaged places, the damaged dreams. Begin to tell the Lord what are those dreams and visions that have been damaged. Ask the Lord, Father, repair the damaged visions, the Visions that God has given you, everything that have been broken, every broken lives, that's the Lord to make them all. He said we will be in good health, even as our soul prosper in the name of Jesus. What are the damaged health in any way that your health has been damaged? According to Third John 2, he says you will be in good health, even as our soul prosper. And the Bible says in Jeremiah 30, Relegerebosondorica. In Jeremiah 30, 17, I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds. Every wound, physical wound, spiritual wound, wound that you have suffered, that people have inflicted upon you, relationship that has caused 
spiritual wound, uh, marital wounds. Uh, in the name of Jesus, he said, I'm going to restore where you have been cast away. He said, where you have been where an, an outcast, um, where they be, you know, the thoughts that you cannot amount um, to anything. Uh, that dream uh, cannot prosper. That vision, um, they relegated you. Begin to ask, uh, Father, repair. Repair every broken areas of my life. Uh, repair that vision um, in the name of Jesus. Uh, what is it to restore, to bring back to life, uh, to give back uh, in the name of Jesus? Uh, the Lord is going to bring back to life uh, that which has been taken away, that which has been stolen uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, the Bible says in Isaiah 49, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, he said he will bring back your sons. Uh, in Isaiah 49 from verse 22, he said, Thus says the Lord God, behold, uh, I will lift up my hand uh, to the Gentiles and set up uh, a standard to the people, and they shall bring thy sons in their hand. God is bringing back uh, whatever has been stolen, uh, thy sons, uh, we will bring them back. Your daughters uh, shall be carried up upon their shoulders, uh, and king shall be your nursing father. God is going to bring back uh, that which has been stolen from you. They shall bow down to thee with their face towards the earth uh, and lick up the dust of thy feet. Hallelujah. God is setting you high. He will bring back uh, where you have suffered shame. Uh, he will give you a double portion, uh, everlasting glory will be our own portion. He will give back what the enemy has stolen. He said he's restoring it back. He's restoring just like the children of Israel. They did not leave Egypt empty. The Lord commanded, made the heart of the Egyptians to begin to give back the silver, the gold, everything back to them. That is restoration. God is about to restore that back to us in the name of Jesus. I make that decree to you today and to myself uh, that God, uh, whatever has been stolen, uh, is being restored back uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, what is it to restore? What is it to restore? It is to reinstate, uh, to reinstate uh, that which has been lost, uh, that job, uh, that marriage, uh, that strange woman uh, that have taken the seat of your husband. Uh, God is reinstating back. Uh, that marriage is bringing you back that honor, that your seat that you have lost, that place in the heart of your husband that you have lost. God is reinstating it back in the name of Jesus. He's reinstating it back. We all know the story of the, Zeno, the daughters of Zelophan. We know the story. They fought for their rights. God is restoring your rights, your position in the name of Jesus. He's restoring your rights and your position. I want you to begin to tell the Lord the landmark. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, I want to open your eyes to something in Deuteronomy chapter 19. Marie Garibo Zondo River Baba. Every right that have been taken from you in the name of Jesus. Every right. Deuteronomy 19:14. Every right you have lost, every opportunity you have lost. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 19 14, he said, Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark, which they of old time have set in thy inheritance, which thou shalt which thou shalt inherit in the land uh, that the Lord thy God giveth thee to possess. Uh, that is your marriage, your rights, your position. Uh, when the Lord talks about landmark, uh, he's not talking about direction. Uh, he's talking about uh, the things he has established uh, and order he has established uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, he has established that uh, a man uh, will leave his father and his mother. He will cleave to his wife uh, and everything uh, that negates that man, uh, that order is an abomination. Anyone that have shifted the landmark, uh, that have moved you out of your position, uh, out of your inheritance, uh, whoever is about to move you or whatever has taken your position, uh, whatever.
whoever has taken your job, whoever is challenging your rights and your position, that is the word of God. He said, no one should shift the landmark. You are going to tell the Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, you challenge it by the blood of Jesus. We come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything that has challenged, Father, my inheritance, like we read, he says he will overturn and overturn and overturn until whose right it is. It is my right. It is my right. That is my husband. You tell the Lord, whatever it is, whoever, that strange man, that strange woman, he says that the noise of the stranger shall fade away. Command that strange woman to fade away. Whatever is troubling, oh God, that, that child, whatever, once will God take away your right as a mother, troubling that child, every addiction, everything that is troubling that child, we address it in the name of Jesus. The word of God says we will not labor in vain. We will not bring forth for trouble. That is the word of the Lord. And so we come by the word of God, the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, what is restoration? It is to make good. Tell the Lord to make good. Everything to beautify your life and our life. Father, beautify our life. In the name of Jesus, we know the story of the two alot that one slept on a baby. And by the morning, the baby was dead. The other one, the baby was, and they exchange in first king chapter three from verse 16 to 27 you know the story you and i know the story we are going to pray that father everything what is restoration by the morning when king solomon had to judge the bible said he judged right you know, with wisdom we are going to ask the lord Everything that I've exchanged, Father, my life in the night, my glory, my destiny, the glory of our children, we ask for restoration. Every evil exchange over the night, every demonic exchange, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says when men slept, the enemy so tired. We are going to ask for a restoration in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been damaged, evil demonic exchange, change, evil covenant. We come by the covenant that is in the blood of Jesus. According to oh God, to the word of God, in Zechariah 9, verse 11, we come, we come out of every prison, collective prison. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ, every evil exchange, Father Lord, be destroyed. We take back that which is ours, that the Lord restore our glory, restore our destiny, restore our children, restore our life. We know the story of the Lord, the, the, the axe head that fell into the well in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the prophet, he threw the stick into the well. We're going to ask the rod is true. Is the rod of Jesse. Let's call upon Jesus. Who is the rod of Jesse? According to 2 Kings 6, verse 1 to 7, every axe held, as head that are falling into the well, that thing that we need, opportunity that we have lost ah, due to carelessness, Lord, restore. In the name of Jesus, everything that we have lost due to, oh God, carelessness, miss Mistakes. Father, restore us back. That the Lord will restore. Restore everything I have lost due to carelessness, mistake, errors in my life. Father, restore. Restore back in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will restore us. Restore in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, restore our health in the name of Jesus Christ. Restore, restore, restore. We are going to pray for Nigeria. And as we pray for Nigeria, we are using it to pray for every continent in the world. We are going to pray that Nigeria, you will not eat up your glory. The leaders in Nigeria will not eat up the glory of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, the Lord restore Nigeria. They will not eat up the glory of Nigeria. They will not 
height of the glory of Nigeria, we see children dying, children that God is supposed to be raising up as mighty army for himself, women and men that are supposed to be raised up as mighty army for himself, women, let's arise and pray that Nigerian leaders, every demonic leader, every satanic leader, whatever they are doing in this season, Lord, Father, they will not eat of the glory of Nigeria. They will not eat of the destiny of Nigeria. Whatever land that you are in, we pray for North America. We pray for South America. We pray, oh God, for Asia. We pray for Africa. We pray for Australia. We pray for Europe. We pray, oh God, for South America. In the name of Jesus, we pray for Antarctica. The glory of these nations will not be eaten up. The glory of our children will not be eaten up. In the name of Jesus, our glory will not rot away. The women will not be turned into widows. The men will not be turned into widowers. The children will not be motherless. Father, restore in the name of Jesus. Lord, restore in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, by your hand, restore. Let the host of heaven, Father, arise, O God, and begin to go. It is the Pentecost month. Let's ask the Lord that, Father, in this month of Pentecost, this Passover, Lord, begin to go through houses, begin to search through houses. Every demonic evil leaders, let God begin to judge them in all the nations of the world that are perpetrated evil. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord judge them and let God restore, restore the glory of Nigeria, restore in this transition period, no matter what they are doing, no matter the party, every evil that is being perpetrated, let God visit them. Father, Lord, you rule over the affairs of the nations of the world. You are the governor of the nations of the world. You are seated in heaven and you make the earth your footstool. And so, Lord, we ask that that you drive them away in the name of Jesus Christ, that you show mercy, oh God. Arise, oh God, and let, oh God, Father, your enemies be scattered. The enemies, oh God, that do not want peace for Nigeria, that do not want peace, oh God, Father. Father, for Nigeria and Nigerians, oh God, arise, oh God, and scatter them. Father, for strength their plans. When they gather together, bring confusion to them. Lord, confound their tongues. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, restore the glory of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, Father, begin to raise up your David. Oh, raise up your Deborah. Sir. We have lots of, oh God, Deborah sir, in the diaspora. Father, Lord, raise them up. Cause their heart to be turned back to Nigeria, to rebuild Nigeria. Lord, cause their heart to turn back to Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, restore, oh God, oh, the federal level, the state level, restore the local level. Have mercy, oh God, upon every parastatus in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you. Lord, Father, we bless your holy name. Lord, we give you praise. Oh, we thank you, oh God, because you are a good God. You are such a good God. We bless you, Lord. We give you praise, glory, honor, and adoration. Thank you, Lord, for restoration. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, restore us, oh God. Restore us. We ask for mercy where there is sin, because the Bible says his ears are not deaf to hear us. And his hands are not too short and to, uh, to answer. Father, and so Lord, we ask for your mercy. Your mercy over each and every one of us. Father, we ask, oh God, for your mercy. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy individually, collectively, Lord. As we are here, Lord, all our prayer requests, where we are trusting you, Lord. Father, have mercy upon us, upon that child, upon that that boy, that girl, upon that woman, that man, Father, have mercy. Upon all the nations of the world, we ask for your mercy. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Sister Rosaline. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. And may the Lord take us all to the place of restoration in Jesus' name. Amen. It's time for offering and then we're listening to a couple of announcements. The Bible in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 7, 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7 says, every man according as he proposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Amen. Offering time is also a time of restoration, a time of receiving back all that has been lost. As you package your offering this evening, the Lord bless you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and continue to meet you at the point of your needs in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So the email address you can uh, e transfer the money to is as displayed on the screen, BDGAP Fellowship at gmail.com or you can also send your money by in uh, by by paypal sorry you can send your money by paypal or by e-transfer to be the gap ministries in jesus name the lord bless you as you do so in jesus name amen Our monthly program for the month of June comes up precisely on June on June 25th, June 25th, and it will be around 12 p.m. Calgary time. Please look out for it and ensure to join us. We also look out for the flyers and save the dates. The Lord bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Amen. BD Gab also has a YouTube channel and a Facebook account. We appeal to every one of us here to please kindly uh, subscribe to our Facebook account and our YouTube channel. You would also see all our edifying programs. You can listen over and over again and be blessed. The Lord bless you as you do so. Kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel or to the Facebook account, God bless you, amen. For those of us that need counseling, you can reach out to Minister Mumi Akintsubi on 587-581-2654, or you can send out an email by, to bdgapfellowship at gmail.com. And we pray that the Lord will sort out that issue in Jesus' name and give you peace, amen. For there is a book being displayed on the screen at the moment, which says Praying Parents Manual, Praying Parents Manual, and this is by our dear minister, Okwe Aki Salami. Please, um, you can order for the book as displayed on the screen. You can reach out to Minister Wumi also, and she will let you know how to get the book. And the Lord bless you as you do so. This will be an edifying time for you as you study the book and put into practice what is written there. The Lord bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Amen. Finally, we want to say thank you to every one of you that has been joining us. We appreciate you, we celebrate each and every one of you, and we appreciate your time, your love, your support to the ministry. The Lord continue to bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you all for coming. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have one testimony to quickly share. As we round up, amen, amen. 
Uh, I believe I've been announcing that we're going to be doing an outreach in Malawi. And uh, we were trusting God for a laptop. And uh, I've shared it with a couple of people. And we're still like, uh, still believing that the Lord will raise up more people in the name of Jesus. Uh, to the glory of God, you know, the word of God is so sure. And, um, you know, just keep believing in God. I don't know, but I just told the people of Malawi, I don't know if they are joining us right now, that by June we will, um, you know, I just believed that we will have a laptop, you know, and I shared it with one of our very beloved sister, you know, and um, to the glory of God, she, she, the Lord through her blessed the Malawians with the laptop, hallelujah. And so that's just amazing. So we're going to kick off our, it was this week, our outreach with them. It will be different from this platform. So we're going to kick off on that and um, they will be joining us. It will be a it's mainly outreach, just ministering to them, winning souls online. And hopefully by next year, by the grace of God, we will go to Malawi in the name of Jesus to do you know, an in-person outreach, but we are going to start online by the grace of God, outreach with them. They are so excited, and I just bless God. I want us to just quickly, just let's bless this sister. Let's ask that the Lord will replenish her pulse in the name of Jesus Christ, that the hand of the Lord will rest upon her. We're still trusting God to buy more than, you know, buy more, more laptops for them. Let's ask that the Lord will bless her, increase her, bless her home, her marriage, her children, every aspect of her life in the name of Jesus Christ, that she will keep sowing like an eagle in Jesus' name, uh, that the good hand of God uh, will be upon her to grant her all her requests in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. As we round up, uh, I want us to quickly look at, uh, we're rounding up with this uh, chapter. The Bible tells us, uh, as we round up, uh, as we go in the remaining months of the year, the Bible says that Abraham went to Egypt. He went to Egypt, hallelujah. He arrived in Egypt very small in, in Genesis 12. He said Abraham arrived in Egypt. He was, he was a very small man when he arrived in Egypt. He had little, if you go and read Genesis 12, he had little, but when Abraham was leaving Egypt, the Lord has blessed Abraham. We're going to ask the Lord. By the time I'm ending this year, Father, the Lord will multiply me in the name of Jesus. My cup will overflow. You know, that's our team but from January. My cup will overflow. I am restored. Every aspect of my life, I recover all. Nothing will be missing in my life. In the name of Jesus, sir. the Lord multiply me, the Lord enlarge me, the Lord increase me. I will be fruitful. I will be in abundance in the name of Jesus. Sir. The Lord make my path to shine brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus. Sir. In the month of June, in the month of July, in August, in September, in October, in December. By the time I will count ourselves, by December 31st of 2022, Father, in the name of Jesus, sir, None shall be missing. My cup will overflow in the name of Jesus Christ. Man legere bo zondori kari baba ba. Rima ribo zondori akara baba ba sandere kere bobo ye. Robo zondori akara baba ba ba sindere akara baba ye. Romo lo sondori kari baba ba jari kari bo sondori kara baba ba. In the name of Jesus, that is my portion. In the name of Jesus. That is my portion, oh God. Rile regege bozondo rika riba baba ba. Rile gere bozondo robo bobo. Mariga riba baba ba ye. By the time I'm ending this year, Father Lord, every single month, tell the Lord, I receive the key of the kingdom of heaven. I receive the key of power. I receive the key of wisdom. I receive the key of knowledge. The key of understanding. The key, oh God, of counsel, might, and the fear of the Lord. 
Lord, the seven keys of the Lord, according to that Isaiah, Isaiah 11, verse 2, I receive it in the name of Jesus to guide me, to lead me to restoration. The Lord Jesus told his disciple, I hope you are praying, we are rounding up. According to John chapter 16, verse 12 to 16, he says, I have many things to still tell you, but you are unable to bear it. He said, but when the Holy Spirit comes, he will teach you all things. When the Spirit of truth comes, God had, Jesus had so many things to tell his disciple, but they were not ready for it. He said, but he will go and send the Holy Spirit and he will teach us all things. He will teach us all things. You are going to ask the Lord, Father, the things that you were yet to teach the disciples, Father, when you were on earth, Holy Spirit revealed to me now that the Spirit of God, he has sent his Holy Spirit, everything, oh God, in the scroll for me as it is in heaven. Father, let it be for me on earth. Everything that I need, oh God, to move my life forward in this year and beyond. Lord, let the Spirit of God reveal to me every hidden and secret thing for my life, my husband, my children, my ministry, for the nation that I reside in, oh God. Lord, reveal to me in the name of Jesus. Let me have my own encounter in the name of Jesus. I need my own encounter. The disciple had their own encounter with Jesus when he was there. And he said, I will go and send the Holy Spirit. He has gone and the Holy Spirit reside in you and I. Father, I need my own encounter, Lord. Reveal to me the things, oh God, that are hidden and secret, oh God. I receive oh God, the clever spirit, oh, the keys of wisdom, knowledge, the spirit of God in wisdom, knowledge, understanding, counsel, power, might, Lord, we receive it, that will help us in every area to restore restoration, Lord, the enemy will no longer cheat us, Father, we thank you, Lord, Lord, we give you praise, Oh, Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything turning around. Oh, my God. I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything turning around. Oh, my we can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything turning around. So shall it be for you and I. Everything is turning around in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord. Amen. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? May the grace of the Lord Jesus the Lord Christ, Jesus Christ the, the love Lord of, God, of God, and the sweet fellowship the sweet of the Holy, the Holy Spirit be with us now us and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord, of the Lord forever, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless us, the Lord keep Amen. us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. The Lord Amen. lift up the light of his countenance upon us and give Amen. us peace. Peace Amen. in our spirit, in our soul, in our body, in our mind. Peace in our marriage. Peace in every areas of our life. We pray, Amen. Father, for the peace of the nation we reside in. Most especially, Lord, we pray for the peace, O oh God. Father of Nigeria, we pray, O oh God, that your peace, O oh God, will rest upon every home, and Father, we ask that the Holy Spirit will comfort uh, the families that have lost, oh God, Father, children, husbands, wife, uh, Lord, different ones, oh God, we ask for your peace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let there be peace in Jerusalem in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we pray Amen. for the peace of the church of God. Let there be peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Shalom, everyone. Thank you all for joining us tonight once again. Have a wonderful, pleasant, favored weekend in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you.